Hi. Welcome back. I have clawed my way back beyond the 13 gates to this mortal realm. To the end of A2. Today we're truly gonna try the end. First one, maybe the cartographer? The map maker. Like, um, you know what? Let's try the map maker. Ah, this is a story yet to be told. Let us take a glimpse into the future and with it learn of lands beyond death. Let's take every encounter with open and the token. Basically, we can do that. Okay, we can. Those three. Oh, we're not going to start with those three. Those three. There are places where the boundaries between life and death grow thin. None but the foolish or desperate would approach these gateways, but if you would change what has gone before, venture forth in the steps of the thousands of mortals and gods who have failed before you. Ghost tall? Ghosts and dead gods are not known for the charity. Use gold to ease the, your journey, a daily quest. You survive in the moon wastes. Ensure you have enough food and a means to reveal a safe path. Hardy creatures, even in a land wrecked and desolate, burning in the blood of gods, goblins persist. Every story we tell is ultimately a story of power. This one is a story of broken power, long dead gods, and the rotten tides that lap at their fallen bodies. Once a great civilization dwelt here, a utopia. Now it is an empty and devastated place, known only as the mournful wastes. Torn apart by gods and mortals, it's searching for the lost gateway. A gateway that is beyond death itself. A gateway that can undo your guilt, make amends for your mistake. She died long ago, but you have not forgotten. With the Emperor dead and the Empire in this court, you had no choice but to select a new leader. Ever willing, your companion took the mantle of Empress. She would have made a great ruler if you had but managed to stop her killer. You entered alone in the guards the bridge into the Badlands, somewhere in the knowledge that none succeeded. Succeed in their first journey into the wastes, yet few survive to make a second. A few dust covered characters watch you carefully. Let's stop the others. Beware! An elder shrieks. They say a demon stalks the land, handsome and terrible. Once a pirate, his last for gold drove him from the sea to the desert. One by one, his loyal crew died. Now only he remains, kept alive by the terrible fire inside. And beware! Another, another elder clenches a cake in hand with great intensity. A god lies imprisoned beneath the stone. They say that even now her struggles crack the earth and fill the world with flames. An elder stops you and presses a smooth pebble into the palm of your hand. A crude map is etched upon it. He looks up at you with faraway eyes. The holy man is the font of all riddles. Buy riddles from the statue of a priest encounter. Review collected riddles at the campfire. Although the map may change, the riddles will always be true. Okay. The words strip out of the old man like a terrible secret. With that, he sighs and grips your hand, heavy gold bracelet lying in his arm. I won't so the portal like you. It cost me everything. As you gently brush him off and step out of the inn, the dusty inhabitants shake their head as you act before A god is nothing but a source of endless power. And now this one lies trapped beneath the earth, railing in fury but achieving nothing. 
The ground here is cracked and blasted, magma boils from great fissures, and the air shimmers from the dreadful, stifling heat. A rumbling comes from deep within the earth, like something huge and terrible waking from a slumber. A voice from below trembles with rage. You think I can't crush you to dust from my prison? Heresy, fool, snake, advance and let you brought it bless my grave. No, please no, I just started. The voice roars in rage, shaking the ground underfoot. A great fissure opens up beneath you. Searing, blinding liquid fire boils out of the earth. You manage to scramble to safety. The ancient statue holds the keys to this challenge. A few sparse tufts of grass grow at the base of the statue, a rare sign of life in the mournful wastes. One hand is raised in prayer. The other holds out a one offering bow. With a cascade of dust, the statue's face begins animate. Beware the intersect of tree of tree and tower. Uh, okay. With knowledge, the perils here may easily be bypassed. Well, with knowledge and the wit to use it. The statue begins to run to lifeless stone. Once we number more than the stars, now only six true gods remain, and the rest are dead or imprisoned as I am. Walk the bloody hill three times in order to reach the gateway. You strike me as the type who would put themselves in harm's way for the benefit of others. No? Yet, perhaps you'd rather have someone else sacrifice themselves for you. You hear shouting up ahead. As you make your way down the cobbled street, you see lights flickering on the road in front of you. As you approach, you see a building, flames and smoke billowing out of its upper room windows. A crowd has formed outside. Passing buckets of water between one another to temper the blaze. As you push your way through the crowd, you see a woman frantically pleading to the glitters. Please help! My family is in there! Anyone? Please help! Okay, I'll help you. Go. Wheel is one of my favorite innovations. No. It combines many different elements of our game into one. Oh, we can try that one. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake! The smoke is oh still dear. thick and if I'm just at this time. I spurn you, you fumble your way back out of the building to catch your breath. I'm going back. Excellent. Ooh. A wise decision. Through a haze of smoke, find the woman's youngest daughter crying under her bed. You coax her out, scoop her up, and carry her out of the place. A villager rushes to your aid. Thank you, brave adventurer. I can take it from here. But be warned, the, bu the building is not safe. It will soon collapse. My husband. Did you see my husband? He's still in there. Please help. And it's gonna go faster each. Time! Oh my no! Oh, I think we're gonna die. You hear a shrill cry as a beam in the next room collapses. The fire claims victim. Level three. Slumped in the corner of the room, find the woman's husband. You put his arm over your shoulder and quickly make your way out of the inferno. As you exit the building, it collapses behind you. While you were unable to save everyone, the villagers are grateful for your valiant effort. Give me a reward, not These fame. Are oh not my! Brimstone without reason. If you cannot learn to avoid them, you will surely perish. Yes. The magma boils, then subsides. The voice sighs. 
I will you live warm, spread word of my mercy. Perhaps then I will be free of this prison. Thank you. Here's a token for you, if you can earn it. Okay, and... Alright, this encounter real cries smaller clips and we can get this one. These cards are not brimstone <coughs> without reason. If you cannot learn to avoid them, you will surely perish. The ground here is cracked and blasted. Magma boils from great fissures in the air shimmers from the dreadful stifling heat. A rumbling comes from the deep within the air, like something huge and terrible waking from slumber. A voice whispers below with lament. I crashed goblins by the handful, but they still came. The keeping hold. They still torment me. The thing is cheese staring behind you. What sword do I have equipped? I never checked. They pour from the under cities, a tide of mischief and terror. Tricky and unpredictable fighters, goblins are vulnerable to your blows. Attack them before they finish drinking or deal with the consequences. I'll have you know my friend here is killed far better than you! No, oh my god, I forgot how to go. Run! Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot how to... Okay, let's cut them. Okay, here's something. Oh my goodness. This is going to... This is going to end badly and I press... Right, trigger is on the left one, yes. Uh, come on. If he blow up. I I tried, I tried, I really tried. I'm not gonna survive. I'm sorry, it's gonna end. Take it us. The blazing monsters crumble to us as you slay them. Thank you. This. Oh, I don't have enough gold. The goblin man looks affronted. Malcraps plays a console in hand on him. Don't be mad. She doesn't know about how all of our kind work. Mood crosses his arms and turns his back to you. Mark Lipes makes soothing noises. Look here, Mark. We'll be back before you know it with the gold, okay? No, I won't give him. Okay. gold. Bones crunch under food. Ancient swords from kingdoms long forgotten flank the path like a wedding guard. The stones here are stained a deep red. Okay, not yet. Oh, there are. Do what you can to find more food. Yeah, I'm trying. You trespass on numbish ground, he max. A voice, a voice calls out uh, as a dozen small creatures leap from the trees around you. The penalty for the strange discretion is that make peace with your guts. Oh, fine. Hmm, but you will find so hard. Little firstly turtle trespass is no niche land and face the consequences. Pesky, persistent and impossible to hit. No one's cause snare. Evade to evade to avoid or struggle to break free. No one's can only be deterred de with a finisher. Yeah, and I don't have my types to save me. 
Oh my god, no, I... Once again, I fucked it up. I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay, at least that worked. Why do you run away? You are alone here. The battered gnomes pick themselves up from the battlefield and approach you cautiously. Alright, penalty for this transgression is only death. We would like to parley. We seek arms to defend ourselves, Anon declares loudly. Hand over some of your equipment and we'll release you. We can even pay you something. I'll give you some food for a helmet, one of the small folk exclaims. I'll show the secrets of the sun for a ring. Another times in. Give me a weapon and I can I can wield and one of my brother with god gold. I took this gnomes. Gnome goes out. The gnomes all as they shout their own offers trying to drown each other out. Can I give you yes I can give you a This is 15, this is 14, I'll give you this. Yep. You surrender the equipment to the gnome. Satisfied they offer payment in return. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. The toothless gnome look perplexed. A mighty war machine to be sure, but however will we wield it? He turns to his brother and together with the other gnomes they heave the weapon into the bushes out of the side. No no not yet. And um, why? Yep, it's trade. Let's see. Okay. No, thank you. Food. Okay. The holy man is door the intersect of tree and tower, so we are not going there. Walk the bullet hill three times in order to reach the gateway. Yeah. Basically, walk up the stairs three memories times. Memory is truth, it is said. Yet our memories shift and fade and vanish in time. Well, what are we then? <gasps> While composed of faded truths and bright lies, what then is left? Can I? Thank you. While roaming the barren nothingness of the mournful ways, you chance upon a goat. I tried petting the goat. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Apparently, I did. The goat darts its eyes about wildly. Suddenly, it rears back on its thin legs and kicks you square in the chest with its front hooves. As you fall back, stunned, you feel a great weight lift from your soul. Thank you. Oh, it was useless, but it's now 18. No, there's no way in hell that I'm gonna hit 18. Oh, goddammit, Iga. Yeah. Mm. I'm not gonna it. I'm not gonna need it each time. I do not remember how I can. Oh, I didn't read the riddle. Okay, what's the mercy? I've tried, we're gonna fail anyway. If a casket of dust, you are not the cursed pirate. Why do you help him? His fate is his own and deserved. As a hissing sound escapes the statue, only like laughter. Thick and the real and soul is released. May you sleep well with this decision. A spectre of a small crabby boy steps out from behind the statue. He gives you a little wave before setting out into the wastes. Oh, you cannot be stopped from saving the weak and pathetic, can you? Apparently, we were fools. The mortals fell to their swords and feet, and we thought we would not. When you sail beyond sight of land, you belong to the sea. 
Even though you return, that truth never leaves you. This I know. A chill creeps down your spine. Someone or something is following you. You turn to face your pursuer. A ghost! The grinning specter stands before you. A young man with his hair whipped up in a messy knot. I am the pirate Captain Holly. His voice thrust from disuse and decay. You can see me, can't you? Uh, what are you doing away from the sea? The promise of the gateway led me here, Guna says. We searched among the bodies of the dead, picked through the bones of abandoned gods. It should have been a warning. Even if I wanted to get them back, I could not. The statue will not respond to me. I am cursed, unable to do anything but wonder. I am the pirate. Can you see me? Uh, if I did know where the gateway is, I wouldn't be here talking to you. Alin runs his fingers through his hair. Besides, I can go through the portal anyway. I'm a ghost. The land forbids the dead, even here. The ghost vanishes, suddenly you are appearing before you, behind you. But perhaps I can show you some of the land. Or corn, of course. Eh. Yeah. yeah. God damn it, Iga! Iga. I don't know. The boy Captain Halley appears simply at your side. I'll leave you the statue of the priest if I were you, which rolls a transparent telescope and surface the landscape. The god imprisoned under here will kill me if you don't know the way. Thank you! Yes, I know, but I have no food whatsoever and no gold. Maybe we should go back. Well, what I can, yeah, I can look. I don't want to go for it, though. Hmm. Okay, we'll go forth. Leave the goat. Let's begin the climb. What left these lands so desolate? Oh my God. How many times have mortals attempted a crossing here? These are mysteries lost to the sands of time. Malakite sits up beside you, messaging his head before looking around wildly at his new surroundings. I really shouldn't have drank the wine I found, whispers to himself. You hold the etched map pebble up to your eyes. The markings have changed. Okay. These cards are not <coughs> brimstone without reason. If you cannot learn to avoid them, you will surely perish. A voice from below whispers with lament. Once I commanded a sea of warriors. Now their bones gather dust around me. Something pours from a burning fissure. Hmm. Soldier sword. Every hero must have a short sword by the side. This silver is utterly ordinary. All types, mal, 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 Oh my god. Mal is dead. Yep. I, I hit it. Goodness, I first let bumper some reason. Combat solves so little, it has ended this, however. Mm. 
Yeah, but you know what? This is a tougher challenge than what we've encountered thus far. Okay. But for now this is gonna be it. I'm sorry we didn't achieve anything. <sighs> Tomorrow it will be the Empress. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.